Hello there, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for February 12th through 18th of 2024. We've got a choose your own deck uh, week again here for you guys. It seems to be working well for you and uh, it gives you a little bit of interaction with the reading. So you get to have, you know, exercise a little bit of choice there. So we've got three different decks for you guys to choose from. We've got the fairy tarot deck right here and number one, number two, right in the middle here, we've got the gilded tarot. And then for those of you who want to embrace an incredibly Aquarian vibe and something a little bit weird and a little bit different. We have the Morgan's Tarot here, which is not actually a tarot deck at all. Uh, it's more of an oracle, and I think this was dreamed up by somebody uh, a little bit out there in the 70s. So um, very interesting readings come out of this one, and of course we are in Aquarius season. Um, we are, you know, in this energy of Pluto and Aquarius, and we got a lot going on um, in our planetary aspects right about now. So um, very apt uh, that uh, that I pulled that one out there for you guys. So we're going to get right into it. But we do have just a word of note for you guys. We do have a lot of planets that are number one, direct. Direct energy is fast energy, and it's gaining forward momentum. So this can be really positive for you, especially if you've been feeling like you've been stuck in a rut or you've been walking through quicksand, or even worse, going backwards, right? So this is gathering momentum here to propel you forward. And but there's a lot of change, right? We do have Pluto and Aquarius. And this does bring about profound change on many levels, whether it's spiritual, physical, emotional, mental, right, whatever it happens to be with your relationships with your jobs, right? Um, you know, if there's been things that, you know, have been going swirly twirly or back and forth, right now is the time when we do make some decisions and we do move forward. We also have a lot of planets that are having a party in the sign of Aquarius. They're all gathering in Aquarius and this is creating a stellium of planets there. So a lot of Aquar Aquarian energy really about um, about you, about freedom, about letting things go. Uh, this is also about the future, very futuristic energy and uh, opening your mind to new experiences, new ideas, um, very science and technology based as well as the sign of Aquarius, but also free thinking, right? So expansion of your mind, it can be um, really wonderful at this time as well. But a lot of people are also having a lot of spiritual growth here too. So pay attention to, of course, sign symbol synchronicities. If you see something out of place, it catches your eye probably a reason for it, right? So don't be so quick to dismiss things as coincidences um, because everything really does happen for a reason. So there may be some messages and some deep insights somewhere for you, um, especially as we go through February. But let's get right into your reading for the week ahead. Um, if you do enjoy your readings, please uh, take a moment and press the like button, uh, that thumbs up right there on this video. Uh, it takes a second for you. It's free, but it really does help my channel. Any interaction from you, the viewer, with um, with any channels or any videos that you do watch helps them get seen. It's the algorithm. It's the YouTube recommendation system. So I truly do appreciate that. And also uh, throw a comment in the box down below. Say hello, especially if it's your first time here, where are you watching from? Uh, which deck did you choose? Did it speak to you? Um, and some of you may actually choose more than one deck, right? Especially um, if you are, you know, a little bit undecided, right, between a couple of them, or maybe you're inclined to watch all three. Chances are there's a message in there somewhere um, from whatever it is that you do choose. All right. So I'm going to put all the timestamps in the description box and the, and the comment section down below as well. So you can easily navigate between deck number one, fairy tarot, deck number two, the gilded tarot, and deck number three, Morgan's tarot, which is not tarot. But anyway, let's get right into it for your week, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Hello, everyone who chose deck number one. You have chosen the fairy tarot. So let's have a look and see what messages the fairies have for you guys for your week ahead. Messages, please, for people watching for the week ahead messages please thank you first out we've got the ten of autumn so we are starting out with a bang right there we've got the princess of spring 
and we've got the four of summer. So very interesting week for you guys. So you might start out your week by having some form of success, getting something done, wrapping something up. You may also be focused on your home and your family. The 10 of autumn is the 10 of pentacles energy. So this can bring about an energy of making sure that you're financially secure. Maybe you feel like you're financially secure. Some of you could have uh, some focus on your career path as well, how I make my money, how I spend my money, how I invest my money, that kind of thing. Um, but the 10 of autumn is also very home and family based, right? Your possessions, where you live, your sense of safety and security in this energy. So, and the 10, of course, being about abundance and prosperity is a wonderful energy coming in here. So some of you might have a long-term focus and long-term goals in mind. Some of you may actually have some really good news coming in, or you're just spending time um, in the environment that does make you feel grounded down to earth and protected. Now, because the 10 of autumn is also a card of family and of of children. Some of you may have something going on um, in that area. And with it being the 10 of autumns, the positive thing, right? So maybe you're spending some time with your children, uh, maybe spending some time with mom or dad or grandparents or other family members, even chosen family. In this, you could be planning something exciting because we do have the prince, um, the princess of spring coming in here. And uh, there could be a little bit of expectation that's coming in for you guys here. Here. But some of you could be really discussing money matters in the family with this energy as well. You're sorting some things out, uh, maybe planning for the future. Maybe you're doing some estate planning here because the Ten of Autumn can be an energy, a card of inheritance as well, right? So perhaps you're looking at making some plans for the future for the family home. One of your parents might be, you know, um, uh, you know, kind of doing a lot of very important planning in that regard, right? So that make sure that all their ducks in a row so that you don't have to deal with anything down the road and get everything sorted out. But yes, some of you could have some money coming in or maybe finding the doors to open yourself up to making more. We've got the princess of spring here, which can deliver you some really good, really exciting news. The princess of spring is the page of wands and the page of wands is where we embrace our inner child. We have some fun. We go out on adventures. We make some plans and we essentially spring into action for this. So it can be something really exciting. This really can help have you um, especially with the 10 of autumn right beside it, this brings in a huge burst of optimism. Maybe you're finding creative ways to make money or you could be turning a home-based business into something a little bit more tangible. Um, maybe you're expanding a home-based business or even starting one because this can be a startup kind of energy coming in here as well. But whatever it is, you've got a spring in your step, especially by about the middle of the week. And this can be really wonderful for you. Some of you may have an invitation, an offer, an opportunity that you need to act upon with this as well, right? This is spring into action. This is like, this is something exciting. This might be something new or my opportunity to improve my situation. The princess of spring can bring a little bit of forward momentum or the next stage of development. Basically, the message here is go for it. Your dreams, your opportunities, those doors are opening up for you now, and you need to take some action. You need to get going. You need to get something done. And for some of you, your um, efforts here really will be uh, rewarded. We do have the four of summer, though. So this is a little bit of a heads up for some of you to remember to stay flexible, open, adaptable, and to really um, broaden your perspectives because the four of summer is the four of cups energy it's where you know maybe there's something where we are waiting for something something's missing we haven't quite found what we're looking for and this can be where you are really trying to make some significant change um, you know especially if you know you've got things such as your job where maybe you're not making as much money as you want to or you're making money but you're bored, right? And this can be where this energy comes in. This can be one of being distracted as well. So you could have some distractions this week, um, you know, kind of, um, how should we say, derailing you off course a little bit. Okay, so this is um, where you might really need to buckle up a little bit and keep your focus, all right? But keep an open heart 
why don't you keep an open mind here, all right, and be willing to look at the possibilities. Because when we have the Princess of Spring, this can really open the door to some possibilities of things this week, the potential to have fun, the potential to expand your business, the potential to, um, you know, uh, turn a dream into reality, right? But we have to be flexible and we've got to keep an open mind because that four of summer, we can sometimes be a little bit closed off or we have our focus, laser focus on one thing that's not quite doing it for us. And if we're not, you know, kind of looking at the possibilities of things, or looking at the big picture, this is where we may sometimes miss something. So just be a little bit aware of that. And, um, you know, really just really engage in your heart space, right? But also trust your intuition. Because the thing is with the four of summer, when we get this particular card, sometimes there's something wonderful about to happen. There's something wonderful coming our way, but it's going to catch us off guard. And it's going to take us by surprise. All right. And just when we're just starting to think that nothing's going to um, make sense or that nothing's going to open up for us or that nothing's going to happen, bam, that's when the magic happens. So just a little word to the wise to kind of keep that open mind, right? The blessings headed your way. We've got the chariot card coming in here. This is excellent, especially as far as your career and your money is going. The chariot is Cancerian energy. And as I said at the intro of your weekly readings here is that if you've been feeling like you're going backward, back and forth on something side to side, this is where you really get some forward momentum. And with this being Cancer energy, right, Cancerian is the crab, right? And what do crabs do? They go side to side, right? They don't, you know, walk straight forward. So this is a great energy coming in here. The chariot speaks to your willpower, your drive, determination, your ambition to get things done. So if you've began being feeling as though you're kind of a little bit lackluster, um, maybe there hasn't been quite that spring in your step, right? This is where this you really get the ball rolling this week. You got to put in some energy. You got to put in some effort. You got to take some action, right? But this is really getting you on track or even you even um, bringing you in some success, right? It's a very wonderful energy anyway with the chariot card and this being in your blessings position. It's like a double dose of uh, success coming in here. So some of you, you're really going to need to dedicate yourself to achieving your goals and dreams. Don't get sidelined if things aren't going aren't going as fast as what you want them to be, because the chariot reminds you that you need to be dedicated and keep moving forward, right? And keep finding solutions and ways around obstacles and problems. And this is really leading you down that garden path of success. Now, this also does have is a card of destiny. So the stars are aligning for you, a little bit of magic in the air. So there may be something that you're dealing with right now that you already know about or something that's going to transpire in your week ahead. That's something that is meant to happen. You're meant to experience and something may be aligning for you in a really positive way and something may you may need to power through um, along your journey this week as well. But it's something that you must experience in order to get you to where you want to go or to um, give you a little bit of wisdom, right? That can come in there as well. Now, because this is a forward momentum energy coming in here with the chariot, it can quite often represent a vehicle. So some of you could be, again, planning some sort of trip, some adventure. Maybe some of you are... Um, and trying to get getting together with like a family, like family reunion, that kind of thing. Some of you could also be making an exciting purchase. And the chariot can, of course, quite often mean a car, right? Like a vehicle. Um, the four of summer, it's like, oh, I have this opportunity. Maybe I got some money coming in. I need to buy a new car. I'm not quite finding what I'm looking for. Keep looking, right? Keep an open mind. Um, and you'll find what it is that you are looking for. So it could be something really exciting coming in there for you guys in regards to that. Um, but also you could be moving your house, right? So if you're looking to move to a different 
study a different neighborhood, um, better home for you, something a little bit more uh, secure in your surroundings, right? You may have that going on here as well. And, um, you know, yes, it's easy to get tired and worn out. But remember, you've got that energy, that momentum to get things done. We have the Unity card coming in here as your advice from Spirit. Now, this is the Hierophant energy and it's Taurus energy with this one. So this is a reminder to stay committed, right? Very much a card of commitment. Um, stay committed to your goals, to your dreams, to your journey, and you will rise, right? You will rise to new heights. You will get where you want to get to, and you have the power to make change. The unity card here, this is um, very much a marriage card, right? So um, things coming together for you, whether it's relationships that are solidifying for you, whether it is the opportunity to partner up with um, a better company and a better position, make some more money. Um, there's something here for you that either you are um, finding right now or that you are looking for. So stay committed to your journey because you could have some higher level of commitment coming in. Now, the Unity card is also a card of um, higher level learning. So again, like we said a little bit earlier, Spirit says here there may be something that you're experiencing this week that is something that might be um, you need to power through, something that you need to deal with, that this is meant to happen, destiny energy coming in here, and this can be something that you need, right, to gain wisdom, right? And, you know, wisdom we gain through, we gain more wisdom through challenges than we do from things that just go easy all the time, right? So there could be some wisdom that you're gaining this week. And again, keep that open mind um, and you will get that deeper level of understanding there. But this can also be an opportunity for you to up your game in some way by um, learning something. Right. So maybe you are going to do a little research this week. You might take a course or something because with this four of summer coming in here, there's something that you want or need. It's something that you don't quite have. Right. And so perhaps to fulfill your ambitions and goals, you may need to learn something here and this will help bring you in bigger resources. But with the unity energy as well, part of your advice from spirit is number one, to be confident, to believe in yourself. But this is a very traditional kind of energy, right? It's one of faith. It's one of um, tradition and structure. And so part of your opportunity here to get what, it, what you want or to make some really bold moves for yourself is to break, um, break free, Aquarian energy, of tradition and structure that may not necessarily be in alignment with you anymore, right? Certain belief systems, that kind of thing. So you could be really kind of releasing some shackles kind of thing that have been holding you back, right? So you could be really breaking down some belief systems there. And this chariot energy can propel you forward in a really positive way. So we've got some great things going on for you guys in your week ahead. This can be very exciting for you guys. So remember, take some action, take some initiative because we've got two of those energies there with the chariot card and with the princess of spring. So be ready for some action, but also get out and have some fun. All right. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here for you. If so, please like, share, subscribe. Truly appreciate that. It helps the video get seen. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. We're going to move on now to uh, deck number two. Hello to those of you who have chosen deck number two. We've got the Gilded Tarot out here for you guys. So let's have a look and see what messages are coming out for you for your week ahead. Messages for people watching for the week ahead, please. Thank you very much. And we have the Queen of Pentacles to start out with, not too shabby. We've got Judgment Card and the Ace of Wands. Well, this is exciting for you guys here. Some of you could have some very important news um, in regards to your money or in regards to your home or in regards to something that you want to start. 
something that you want to get off the ground. For some of you, you may have some decisions that you're making about a home-based business or about where you live, how you earn your money, how you spend your money. You may have something that's coming to fruition for you or you are focused on your dreams. We've got the bottom of the deck, the Six of Pentacles for you guys. This is about finding balance in your life, restoring balance in your life. This can also be where you are receiving something this week. The bottom of the deck can be a confirmation card. It can also be an underlying motivation for you guys, an underlying energy. So perhaps some of you are um, wanting to get back something that you've put out there, right? You're ready to receive, you're aligning yourself, um, you know, to receive some gifts, some um, blessings, some money, some advice, right the six of pentacles is a circulatory energy what we put out there comes back to us right and it comes back multiplied so you could have a little bit of a surprise this week and this can be really quite exciting for you and especially with the ace of wands coming in you could get some sort of gift right and might be money, but it could be some other things there as well. But the Six of Pentacles also is an energy of it's it's a card of charity as well, right? Giving to something, right? Putting yourself out there. Remember the good that you put out there comes back to you. Also, the bad that you put out there comes back to you too. But we're gonna focus on the good, and that is in the upright, right? So something pleasant coming back to you, whether it's just a sense of satisfaction, a sense of I've done something nice for someone. Right. Or again, receiving some sort of uh, financial or um, some other reward. But the um, because that energy can be about charity. Right. Um, so maybe you're helping someone else this week. Maybe you're helping someone else achieve a goal or a dream. Um, you might be um, giving some advice to someone this week or helping them in some other way, right? And we are in Aquarius season and this is very humanitarian energy. So, um, you know, so this can be where you can really give back uh, to your community, to your family, to your friends, to even strangers, right, this week. So you may have that going on. But we do have the Queen of Pentacles, which is a card of success and abundance, but it's also one of nurturing and patience. It's one of you know, really focusing on very family based, not family based, really, um, very uh, home based, right? So where do you make your home? What does your environment look like, right? So you could be spending some time um, at home this week, or again, focused on your home environment, and yeah, your family there too, if you live with other people. But the Queen of Pentacles is about nurturing your goals and your dreams, right? Um, are you in a comfortable environment? Because Queen of Pentacles is a little bit of a nester, right? Nesting energy. And so is your home environment the way you want it to be? Are you rearranging furniture? Are you beautifying your environment in some way? Um, some of you have been waiting for something to come to fruition for quite a while, right? And with the Queen of Pentacles coming in here, this shows that your patience is paying off. All right. And whether you're embarking on something new or whether you've got something coming in, some fresh energy for you, it all really is really quite positive and it really does um, kind of set the stage for, you know, the rest of February, right, in a really positive way. Um, but the Queen of Pentacles with the Judgment card here. And the Ace of Wands, some of you might be buying something new for your home. Uh, you might be decluttering because the Judgment card is where we do make decisions about whether to keep something or whether to let it go, right? And so whether this is something to do with your goals and your dreams, right, or whether it's something to do with your environment, right, where you live or even where you work, right, important decisions with the judgment card for you guys this week. You could be decluttering, you could be simplifying your life in some way, um, you could be, um, you know, really kind of having a look at your belief systems, right, as well, and, um, you know, and really kind of setting the stage to make some important changes, right, because we are kind of letting go of certain things, right. You might get some clarity this week as well here with the judgment card, right, so, um, but I will say we do have two energies where possibly something could come from out of the blue, 
right? The Six of Pentacles energy can sometimes bring in a surprise and the Judgment card can bring things out of the darkness into the light. And so, yes, you could have something very unexpected come in here for you this weekend, but considering, or this week, considering we've got the Ace of Wands coming in here, something that you want, something that you've manifested, something very exciting and something that um, really does kind of, you know, get you, uh, get you like maybe all a flutter, right? So this can be really wonderful energy here for you. But I do feel there is this energy of cleansing and purging this week as well. And the judgment card is where we look at something, we gain realizations, we get clarity, and then we're like, okay, is this working for me? Do I want to keep this? Is this time to let something, um, you know, let something kiss something goodbye, right? This can be where we do get a final release, release of fear, release of old belief systems, right, that don't work for us anymore. This can also be where we do cut cords, cut negative energies and things out of our life because the judgment card can bring an energy of forgiveness and healing to us as well. So this can be something in regards to a relationship, something that you're very committed to. This can be something from your past, maybe something Queen of Pentacles that centers around your belief systems with money um, or even your long-term goals, right? Because sometimes we're told, especially as children, um, that no, you can't do that. You'll never make money or no, you shouldn't do that. You should do this, right? Or, you know, especially money situations, right? Or relationship situations, right? We kind of form our identity and our belief systems when um, from our youth, so in this energy here, you could be experiencing a really big shift in your belief systems and saying, nope, this isn't working for me. I have a better way. And I'm feeling like, you know, all of this, I'm feeling that it's time for a change, right? So this can certainly be um, a harbinger of change, but there could be forgiveness here as well, right? So a big purge, a big cleanse coming in here. And, you know, again, we do have Pluto and Aquarius, which is a incredibly big theme, right? So you hear a lot about it. And with all these planets going direct, they're all encouraging you to move forward, right? To look to the future, to leave the past behind. We're not going to go back and forth on anything anymore, make, an, make a decision and run with it. So whether you are letting something go, whether you're empowering yourself to forgive right? And so that you can finally get some inner peace and move forward can be very exciting, but maybe also a little bit of a challenge coming in there for you. But we do have the Ace of Wands, right? So what do we do? We cleanse, we purge, we make decisions, and then we have a fresh start. We've got a new energy coming in here. So this can be where you've got a passion project. This can be where you have your sights set on a new job, a new home, a new relationship, or perhaps you're just feeling lighter than air with this Ace of Wands. Right. So you do have this big shifting energy in here for you guys this week. Anything that's been bogging you down, keeping you stuck, coming out on the other side, lighter and brighter and more excited about what the future has to hold for you. And you may be setting intentions for the future here as well. Or again, with the Ace of Wands, right? Aces are lucky. Um, it is new energy. They are uh, typically quite exciting. They can be the seed of opportunity for you. So you could be making some very important decisions there, right? Leaving one situation behind so you can start something new. Um, for some of you, this looks like a new job or a new home, maybe in the cards for you guys. But the Aces are gifts from the universe. So be open to receive some gifts, right? So this can be really quite exciting for you. But I do feel that some of you are maybe looking to turn a home-based business into reality, or if you've got some ideas, right? If you've got some ideas, something that you wanted to do for a while, this can be where you're finally sitting there going, you know what? Now is the time. I'm not sure what the future holds, but I'm not going to let anything hold me back anymore. And this can be really where you do get some traction and take some action. 
We've got the Hermit card coming in here for you guys as the blessings that are here for you this week. Hermit card is very important. It's a healing energy. So there's your forgiveness, healing, your cleansing, purging, letting go. Um, the Hermit card is Virgo energy. So you could possibly be dealing with a Virgo person at some point in your in your world, in your week ahead. Um, you might have some good advice coming in from somebody because the Hermit is quite often like that wise old sage, someone in your family, someone in your social group, or maybe a stranger can and give you some really um, important advice, guidance, or insight in your week ahead. This could possibly be something that you pay for, right? Because the hermit can be, um, you know, like, again, someone who is very wise, um, but it's also very spiritual. So maybe some of you are having a little bit of a spiritual awakening this week, right? The judgment card with the hermit card, very spiritual energy coming in here for you. So you might be doing a little bit of soul searching, taking your time, Queen of Pentacles, to figure out what is right for me, what's working in my life, what isn't, why am I here even can be part of your question. So this can be a really good week for you to take a step back, spend some time at home, Queen of Pentacles, spend some time with yourself, Hermit, very solitary energy there, and do a little bit, little bit of reflection and soul searching. And then that, that's where you find your answers. So I do feel if you're asking some questions, you're going to get the answers that you're looking for. But yes, some of you may be paying for some spiritual service this week as well. Maybe you're booking a, um, like booking a Reiki, uh, Reiki session or perhaps like a mediumship session or, you know, getting yourself some astrology or tarot done for yourself, right? Personal reading to, um, you know, to kickstart the start of your year. So this can be really quite interesting and this can really kind of open your, open your mind, open your eyes, right? So this can be wonderful. But the Hermit card can certainly be about you focused on your goals, your dreams, light, what lights the path ahead for you. The Ace of Wands here as well, right? So, you know, again, I think ask and you shall seek or if you look, you will find, right? So this could be a week of discovery for you in some way. Right. But the hermit can bring in again that healing and a clear sense of direction. The page of swords is here as your advice from spirit. Keep an open mind. Right. Very important there. The page of swords quite often does bring in some messages and usually something fairly quick. So this can be something via it's um, tends to be a little bit Aquarian in its energy, depending on who you talk to. And the page of swords is very quick um, messages. So text messages, emails, that kind of thing. You could get some information that comes in or this could be your main form of communication this week. Spirit's giving some of you a heads up that you could actually have some really good news or a new opportunity open here this week. But the Page of Swords, your main advice here is to focus on communication, um, communicate clearly. You can use the sword energy. We can use swords to cut things out of our life, to detach and to release. And that's a big, important part of your week here this week as well. And the Page of Swords is very open minded right? Very open-minded, quest for knowledge, willing to try new things, willing to look at things in a different perspective, in a different light, and looking very, very forward-thinking energy. So you're, again, being very encouraged to think about the future, to think about what it is that you want to change or where you see your vision of yourself going tomorrow. And this can be um, a very short term energy or it can be a long term, right? So, you know, yes, we need to incorporate both. We need to find that balance, right? So focus on your short term, right? Make a plan for your week. What do I want to accomplish? What do I need to finish? What do I need to start new? How do I incorporate all that this week? Put a practical plan in place, right? And then we also need to look at our longer term energy here, especially with your judgment card and with the hermit. What are your longer term goals? How do I make that happen? What is my vision? Where do I see that going? So you're encouraged to kind of incorporate both the short and long term um, in there. All right. But the page of swords, your power of communication is very much on point this week. All right. So use that to your advantage. Speak your truth, the page of swords, right? Very truth seeking kind of energy coming in there. Um, but also just be, um, 
be aware of uh, check your emails, check your text messages, that kind of thing, um, because you could have somebody that reaches out to you that you haven't seen for a while um, or someone may find you via um, via like Facebook, social media, that kind of thing. And it may be um, something that's really positive for you. In that, because the page of swords quite often known as the lurker of the tarot, right? Someone checking out your Facebook, you know, that kind of thing. Um, checking out your LinkedIn profile as well, if you've got one of those for your career path. And this can be a little bit of a surprise for you, something just a little bit out of the blue, right? But everything's coming out for you guys in the upright, right? So this is clear, direct. This can be something wonderful for you. Now we have the Book of Shadows coming in here with experience for you. Okay, so again, something out of the shadows may come to light for you guys here. You may discover some information, right? Something that has previously eluded you or something that you previously didn't notice. The Book of Shadows card out of this deck is very related to your crown chakra. So very spiritual in its energy. So pay attention to your intuition this week. Pay attention to any signs that you see. Um, really pay attention to any dreams that you may have this week as well. And, you know, anything that you would normally dismiss as a coincidence probably isn't one. Okay. There's something there for you, something profound. It could be something that gives you a clear sense of direction or maybe something that is, of course, message from spirit. All right. But the book of shadows, um, really speaks to, again, as something you discover, um, something that you, um, experience, right? So this can be where you are gaining wis wisdom and insight into some past experiences that you've had. And there's that hermit energy, right? Hermit brings you that very wise kind of energy. So whether you're discovering something internal, or whether you're just getting a deeper understanding of something, right, really pay attention to all of that energy that's around you, because this can really be um, quite significant for you here in this energy this week. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here for you. If so, please like, share, subscribe. I truly do thank you for that. It does help the channel get seen. And I'm very appreciative of all of you for your interaction with my channel. So I'm going to leave that there. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And we are going to move on now to deck number three. And last but not least, those of you who chose deck number three, we've got Morgan's Tarot coming out here. And yes, this does tend to carry quite the Aquarian vibe with it. You do not have to be Aquarius uh, to enjoy this particular deck. And we are in Aquarius season. So uh, it just feels really quite fitting to pull this thing out today. So remember, it's called Morgan's Tarot, but it is not actually tarot. So, you know, not everything is as it seems. Okay. But let's see what we've got here for you. We've got this is central headquarters here. We've got passion. And we have love coming out there for you. And of course, you know, one thing that I, you know, totally uh, didn't even mention, of course, we do have Valentine's Day this week. Um, so we've got some love and passion and excitement in the air. So in this energy, this feels number one, that some of you, all right, may be focused on some self love this week with this energy, right? And whether you are romantically entwined with somebody or whether you are single, um, single and loving it or single ready to mingle, whatever it happens to be, right? Show yourself a little bit of love this week. All right. Very important for you. Okay. A little bit of self-love and self-care goes a very long way. Buy yourself the flowers. Treat yourself to that bar of chocolate. Um, you know, uh, get yourself a manicure, a pedicure, male or female, right? They've got them for both. Um, and it's just a little bit of pampering, right? Even if your idea of pampering yourself and showing yourself some, uh, some love may even be putting on your pajamas at four o'clock in the afternoon, cuddling up with your pets and watching a movie or something like that and just kind of just spending that quiet time uh, 
alone, right, might be your version of self-love. So whatever that means for you guys, okay, this can be that in the air. Now, I also do feel like some of you are focusing on your relationships this week as well, okay? You're focusing on what's important, right? And perhaps some of you um, have, uh, you know, a little bit of um, a love and romance in the air, right? And in a very, a very wonderful way, maybe you're rekindling the spark of passion in one of your relationships, right? And this can make you feel really quite happy. But I do also feel like there is something here that is exciting for you. Now, we have, do have the passion card, right? We do have this central energy here for you, okay? And so perhaps there's something that you are thinking of, something that you've been dreaming about, something that you envision for yourself for the future, um, and something that you're very uh, passionate about and something that you really enjoy to do with the love energy there. So some of you could be looking to turn a home-based business into a full-time business. Maybe there's some creative projects and things that you do, and now you're like, okay, I want to spend some more time doing that, or maybe I can turn that into some sort of money-making venture, right? Some of you could be just having a look at something that really does get you excited. And in this week, it's like, you know, maybe you want to learn something new or pick up an old hobby that you haven't touched for a while because maybe you've been a little bit too busy. So you could be, you know, really um, doing something that makes you happy this week, right? Whether it's starting something new or giving something another try. And it can be really exciting in this energy and a lot of high vibe stuff going on for you guys. So let's have a look at your crowning position here in significant change. So this is a time of change and transformation for you guys. Maybe you're looking at how you can change your life or maybe you're looking at how you can um, change your perspective, right? Because this is in your crowning energy here. This is your thoughts or your, um, you know, really your vision, right? And it is a butterfly, we do have the yin and yang symbols on there, so perhaps if you're uh, not have, if you perhaps if you don't have a lot of balance in your life right now, you're trying to make some changes, or you're thinking about what you can do differently to bring yourself some more balance into your world. Um, if you have a relationship that maybe is a little bit one-sided or lopsided these days, right? This is where you're working towards that. You're focused on that goal to bring things, you know, kind of back onto an even keel in some way. But insignificant change, this is a time of, and it's not insignificant, right? It's two words, in and significant, right? And so you are already experiencing some changes, some shifts within you, shifts in your way of thinking. Um, and, you know, whether it's something minor or whether it's something big, right? The butterfly change and transformation into something beautiful, into something better than what it was before, right? So, but you may sometimes have to deal with a little bit of challenge, right? In order to bring the changes that you want. So again, some of you might be really focusing on your goals and your dreams at this time, right? What are you feeling passionately about? What is really sparking something within you? What do you want to create, right? Where do you find happiness and joy, love, right? And this is what, you know, you might be focused on right now. And again, it might be just be something small and fun, right? But it could be the bigger picture here, but you are shifting and you are changing. So sometimes, you know, the way we deal with things um, needs to change. And sometimes, you know, we are looking forward for a better tomorrow, right? Whatever that looks like to you, okay? Now, you could also have a change of mind or a change of heart in this energy as well. So something that was previously a no may now be a yes, all right? Or something that you were previously unsure of now you have the answer, right? So um, there is this change in uh, your way of thinking or again, changing your mind. And we have some there, somewhere there is an energy leak coming in here and this is in your subconscious. And in that energy here, this is a reminder for wherever you are, whatever you're doing, um, to always ground and protect your energy. Um, so 
again, we do have Valentine's Day this week. So, you know, we do have the need for balance and harmony this week. And so if you are experiencing situations right now where you're feeling drained, you're feeling tired, um, this is an opportunity for you and a reminder for you to show yourself some self-love, whatever that looks like to you. Right. It may be just going into hermit mode for, you know, for a few hours or for a day. It may be that you need to um, take some significant steps to protect your energy. If you go into certain situations, um, you know, uh, that do make you feel drained, sometimes it's, you might just be very energy sensitive um, in those regards. Right. So somewhere here, there's someone stealing your power, stealing your energy. Or if you were ever a friends fan, right, steal your wind, right? You know what that's about. Um, so what do you need to do to do that, to change that, to protect that in this, right? So just always remember, um, you, all of your energy, don't give your power away, don't give your energy away. Um, and, you know, try and maybe you were looking to extract yourself or change a situation around so that you don't feel drained and tired all the time. Or, um, you're focused on your goals. You want to make some change so that you can find uh, something a little bit better that doesn't drain your energy all the time, right? So think of a workplace that maybe the work is okay. Maybe you got some people around you that are okay, but it's like toxic, right? And it's just your your energy is always drained and not in a good way. And this can be your physical energy, but it can also be your energy of self as well, right? So whatever your situation is, it's time to make some change or do something differently to protect your energy in some way. All right. Um, and again, if you have a relationship going on somewhere, a friendship or a romantic partnership or something where it's out of alignment here, this can be a week for you where you are focused on getting things back on track. So I do feel there's love in the air. I feel there's a lot of good vibes in the air, but something's just got to be tweaked a little bit here for you guys. We have spiral energy coming in here for you guys. So this is all about attraction. All right, now we'll start with the energy first, okay? So the spiral energy is about you attracting things towards you, all right? Your ability to manifest things in your world or open up doors of opportunity, right? Things coming into alignment for you. And again, right, we've got this significant change coming in. So this can be where things are, the energy is really um, coming together for you in an incredibly positive way. Okay, so remember to get a handle on your own energy as well, right? And, you know, we want to be open and receptive, okay? And we don't want to be blocked off, right? Or give our energy um, away to things that just aren't what we want, right? We want to, you know, kind of uh, get a little bit of a handle on that. So this can certainly represent that you can attract um, situations, opportunities, whatever it is to you. This is part of the law of attraction, right? Manifesting things in into your world as well. So if there's something that you really want, this is really a uh, spirit saying to you that you have the power to change and you have the power to find what it is that you want and to manifest that into your world. Now, the spiral energy is card number five. Fives represent um, challenges and obstacles. Okay, we, again, we've got some uh, energy leak there for you, um, but it's exciting opportunity for change, right? So we do have some exciting things that are going on on the small aspects, but also on the bigger plane, right? So be open to change. Don't resist anything. Remember, sometimes when we are going through change, it's uncomfortable. And sometimes we do need to let things go or make some important decisions. So um, be in the flow, okay? And you'd be amazed how uh, how much magic you can really uh, you can really embrace. Now the attraction energy, yes, the, we do have attraction. We've got love and we've got passion in here as well. So you could have a relationship that is transforming, right? Maybe you're getting giving something a second chance, okay? Or maybe you're just focused a little bit more on relationships, love and passion and attraction, all that kind of stuff. And if you are single, ready to mingle, hmm, I think your energy is changing around you here as well. And you might be opening the door to finding new love. Love. And this can be very exciting for you. So open your heart, all right? Um, because there might be some magic in the air for you. And it may be this week or this might be the week that you are deciding that, you know what? 
yes, I want love in my life and I'm open to it. Okay. So I'm going to leave all that there for you guys. Um, I hope there was something here for you. Uh, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys later. Bye.